Hey guys, I'm Zemore, the dad in DPS, and we're once again back for another episode of The Good, The Scrap, and The Script, a series where I review weapons in Fallout 76 and see if any of them are any good. Um, today's weapon is one that I really, really enjoy. Um, but before we get into that, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and let's get on with the video. So, guys, don't forget we've got our social media links, which are down below in the video description for Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. I would really appreciate if you joined the Discord server, the bigger community we can have. Leave me a comment, say hi, all that kind of thing. And yeah, we'll catch you with that. Remember, kids, to have your phasers set to fun. So, this weapon is a Crusader pistol, with VATS crit do 50% extra damage and 90% reduced weight. You guys all know I love Crusader pistols, and this is one of the best, if not the best, anti-armor that I have came across. I think it's actually the best, I've been trying to get anti-armor on the gun with anything decent for a while, and I haven't. So yeah, this gun is pretty much what I had been hoping for for a long while. Explosive would have been better in the middle, I will not lie, but at the same time that might kill me. Either way, this gun is something that I have been dying to test out and fiddle around with, so I'm very, very happy that we'll be able to use it today. So, let's see how it does. So, I've decided to mosey on over to West Tech to show you guys what this gun can do. Now, the reason why I love this pistol is because the anti-armor on it. This is going to do some pretty hefty damage, so that's 442 with a 10mm shot. Um, the anti-armor on there, combined with the other perks that are in the build, which I will link down below because it's a whole video in itself, um, as usual. Uh, yeah, this this gun is tearing through these guys with three T's. And then when you add sneak into it and crits, it is just absolutely shredding anything that I'm coming up against. Um, and Super Mutants have some of the best resistances of normal enemies. So it's not like they typically would, you know, not die, well, would die really quickly to most weapons. There's certain weapons that just completely destroy her, but this thing is just going through them. Um, the anti-armor is getting rid of that resistance. Fire is not resisted by much um, in general. Uh, so taking away what little resistances they do have just adds this weapon into an absolute beast by 29. You're seeing the numbers. I mean, you can't dispute high numbers when you see them. And that's the thing about this weapon, is that it is powerful. It is cutting out the middleman and just dealing some pretty insane damage. And then as I'm killing more and more and my adrenaline is finally kicking in, you're seeing that these damage numbers are consistently high, two-shotting super mutants. Um, I can't stress enough how effective this weapon is at what it does because of its typing and in general how it does. Um, against maybe the bigger enemies like Errol and the Queen, yeah, you're probably not going to be pumping out ridiculous numbers. But then again, the anti-armor on them is really good because their resistances are naturally quite high. So. While it isn't exactly as good as so many other weapons that have an incredibly fast fire rate and um, can mince through enemies very quickly, like fixers, handmaids, and things like that, um, for a pistol build, this is probably going to be one of the more higher damaging weapons long term, in terms of like fire rate versus clip size versus you know all the usual stuff. And that's a legendary, absolutely annihilated with pretty much no resistance. I can't stress enough, this gun is freaking bananas. And I would heavily recommend, if you have an anti-armor Crusader pistol with vast crit bat crits on it, that you use it, because you won't be disappointed. Now if you are interested in the build this weapon is using, look down below, I will link my pistol build that I use for all my pistols uh, down below, and watch that as well. Uh, I would heavily recommend it. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what I mean. 
Oh, it's been a while since we've passed the weapon. Um, and Jeff is still sleeping on the job. But we will definitely find out how this does against him. So he's still sleeping, still sleeping. Let's shoot him in the face! Hmm. He's not taking any damage anymore. There we go. That would have been less than a full clip. It shreds Jeff like nothing else. Well, not like nothing else, but you know what I mean. It kills him good. So the Marlurk Queen. Possibly the ultimate test for a pistol because unlike heavy weapons and uh, your, your other builds, you have no way of crippling her. And that's where they pretty much effortlessly take her out. So the real issue you've got is that you have no way of basically knocking her down and then just kind of easy moding her. Um, so you sort of have to just keep kiting her and avoiding her freaking acid. Um, which is sometimes harder than it would appear on a on a um, bloody build. So, specifically, yeah, on this character, it's a bit harder to do. But we'll just keep panning in her legs, and you're seeing that she's still going down. It's just taking a little bit longer um, than usual, than what, I, well, than what I'd like it to be. And I don't know why it keeps it, well, I suppose those stupid little hatchlings don't have anything but a torso. The kind of good news with the Mirelurk Queen is she's a bit dumb. Um, in some cases she will rush you, but you can usually kite her around trees or other things in order to get her to basically slow down. And that's that. Not the quickest kill, but without the crippling mechanic, a lot of my other weapons wouldn't be able to do the same. As quickly at least. So, it's time to take part in the new Daily Ops with the double mutations, and we'll get to see how well this gun does. If I'm honest, it took down Super Mutants really easily. I'm not thinking this is going to do uh, too bad at all, but, you know, I've been surprised before. Yeah, kills that pretty quick. Um, <laughs> that was a hound, mind you, and Typically, you get anywhere between, I think, 4 and 18 in millimeter rounds. It definitely is going to make its ammo back. So, very effective for taking uh, out this, this type of enemies. And this is on a double mutation day, so they're twice as hard as they normally would be. Um, so, there's that as well. I genuinely think this weapon is going to be a massive asset for me in Daily Ops. It's just a case of finding the goddamn enemies, and this is a map I'm unfortunately unfamiliar with. So it will take a little getting used to. Come on, ah there we go, there's an enemy, why won't I go and sit down, there we go. Yeah, two shot, <laughs> two shot a super mutant. Um, outside of the, the, uh, the melee day, I don't think this is going to have any real trouble in Daily Ops at all. In general, I think it's a weapon that's not going to have a trouble against many enemies. I think the only thing it really does have trouble with is the Mirelurk Queen. Um, and that's because she's such a massive pain in the butt crack. Yeah. All of those enemies completely shredded. No effort whatsoever. And ammo back to boot. What is that guy shooting at? What is he even doing? Like seriously, what's going on there? Is that a new bug? Is that a new visual bug? Please tell me that's not a new visual bug. Anyway, as you can see, this gun does its job really well. So that was today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. If you'd like to help out the channel and support me, uh, 
so I can make more content like this in the future. Don't forget the join link down below to become a YouTube member or the coffee link to do a similar thing there. Um, I need to post more stuff on there. But let's thank our YouTube members, which are Twice Picks Buds, Goldie, Wyatt Blackburn, Waller is Me, Deal Fan Gaming, Colin G, Gary McKnight, Brian RMC, Peggy McKnight, Metal Doom, Matazbo, Dragon God Slayer X, Devil Man Games, Marcus Carrasco, and Scott S. A big thanks to all you. The support is infinitely welcome, and I appreciate every single one of you um and i hope you're all doing well but with that we'll catch you all next time in the wasteland <laughs>